Hey guys, what is up? So today we have to talk about the famous TikTok couple for having a really weird, strange, disgusting age difference, Karan and Cheryl. This couple, like it really... Oh, ugh. I couldn't eat when I first saw like this couple. The age difference is just so disgusting to me. And even if it was reverse, it would still be the exact same. I just can't get over how, like, I know how this happened. Let's just, let's get into it. Okay, so Karan is 24 and Cheryl is 61. And they did a video, actually two videos, on Truly's Love Don't Judge series. And the recent one they did last month where they were trying to have a baby, which we'll get into that later, but the first video they did, which was around last year, it was sharing and discussing their relationship with us. So Karan and Cheryl, they first met when Cheryl's son was managing Karan at his first job when he was 15 years old. And I want you to listen to this TikTok where Karan himself, he states that he actually met Cheryl when he was 15 years old. I didn't know her until I was 23 years old. I met her when I was 15. I met her when I was 15. So the reason why this is so problematic is because they have been friends since they were, since he was 15. And yet alone, that's also very disgusting. Let's just forget like dating and whatever Cheryl was doing at that time. Can you imagine, let's just say a 52 year old is saying, hey, I want to be friends with like a 16 or 15 year old. Like in what world is that okay? Unless, you know, this 52 year old was like, a mentor for some occupation which that clearly was not the case and honestly when I first saw this couple I thought okay well they're trolls keep it scrolling but then when I learned like the age in which they met each other especially Quran I'm just saying it's a disgusting age gap but it makes sense to why he would feel some type of like intimate connection could you imagine Cheryl and like what she was saying to Quran in 15 so it's very possible that he actually is very in love with her. So when this couple, when they started making TikToks with each other, they really blew up when Snoop Dogg like shared or tweeted, posted about them two times. And after that recognition, that's when a lot of people started really noticing them and saying, oh my gosh, wait, that's Karan and that's Cheryl. They're in our hometown, Rome, Georgia. And along with that recognition came a lot of hate comments. People were calling Cheryl a zombie, how can you date your grandmother? And it's funny because in this series, like she's acting so brand new, acting like how could they say that when in reality, there's it's a once again a 24 year old dating a 61 year old. Why wouldn't that be the first thing that comes to my mind? Feel me? Now it's also not surprising that Cheryl's family, some of her kids, are not with her even after getting married to Karan some of her kids are not speaking to her whereas Karan his family they adore and love Cheryl but Karan's family is probably thinking that Karan will be in many more relationships after this and I'm not even trying to throw shade with Cheryl I'm just being realistic there's also been a lot of noise about Karan being forced to make TikToks with Cheryl because like during these lives, you know, a lot of people, of course, would be in the comments like blank twice if you need help. And he's done that. And Karan has also worn like in the comments, you know, people will say, hey, we're red in your next live. And Karan will do that. Now, in my opinion, I think it's trolling like to the max. I, I, I truly believe that. I, I believe after Snoop Dogg posted them twice, they thought, okay, TikTok stars. And I don't blame them because now this is the second time they're going to be on Truly, which is a channel that has like over 9 million subscribers. So I do think, you know, there is a TikTok game being played here as well. I also believe it's wrong for people to call him gay just because he married Cheryl. And what's really crazy about this is that when I was watching the videos, like doing research on this couple, a lot of ads, I screenshotted this, came up of like 
you know, test to see if you're gay or bi, etc. And to me, all that illustrated was a lot of people were maybe leaving in the comments like, oh yeah, he's totally gay or something. Because this wasn't like the, I was doing research on this video, this wasn't the first time I saw that ad. Now, let's talk about the baby they want to have. You know, once again, being transparent, this is an honest conversation, Cheryl is now above the 50 range. So she's already lived already more than half of her life. So what on God's green earth is she going to do with a baby? It's interesting because Cheryl even went on like TikTok or she went on somewhere that I saw and she was discussing how we've already gotten an offer. I don't know if Cheryl's trolling or what, but I kind of think these people are real. And if they are real, why not adopt a teenager, adopt a child that really will need you, that will actually benefit from you? Because I don't know anyone that's going to give a newborn baby to them because a baby is not going to be able to grow up with Cheryl anymore. I just feel like if these people really want to parent someone, parent a child, parent a teenager. I'm also curious in knowing exactly like if Cheryl's kids who aren't speaking to her because of this relationship, is it a interracial thing? Is it an age thing? I'm very curious about that as well because I do know that Karan has talked that the, they're not just struggling with receiving hate comments about their age difference, they're struggling with receiving hate comments about like an interracial relationship. So I don't know, but leave a comment below guys because I'm very curious on what your opinions are about this. I just think it's weird that the series that's called Love Don't Judge decide to do... Okay, it's not really weird because they knew they would get views from this, but it's like Cheryl met him when he was a teenager, when he was a child. So I don't think something like this should really be glamorized this is just so disgusting i don't even know what to call you know what actually there are a few words i could call cheryl a few of them but anyways leave a comment below let me know what you guys think i'm sure like not to like tell you what to think but i'm sure we're probably on the same page with this one okay one more thing before we end the video i was thinking and i probably already said this but if it wasn't for Cheryl meeting him at 15. Would this still be disgusting? Of course, absolutely. But I'd probably be like, you know, whatever. His life, do him. That's it. But yeah, that wasn't the case here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you soon on the next video. Bye, guys.